Stu's Wrestling Podcast, that's not just the coolest. Stu's Wrestling Podcast, that's not just the best. Stu's Wrestling Podcast, well, that, my friends, is just incredible. You're listening to Stu's Wrestling Podcast. It's time, your host, Stu Palmer. A warm welcome to a special episode of Stu's Wrestling Podcast for episode 102, our first show of 2022. And my guest today is promoter, commissioner, owner of Virginia Championship Wrestling, George Pantis. And he is on predominantly to talk about today's show in Virginia. It's VCW headlined by Jay Lethal, who is also doing a four-hour seminar prior to the show. And it is available to all wrestlers who've got six months experience and over. So, let's go straight into it. My guest today, George Panthers, promoting today's show, February the 5th, Virginia Championship Wrestling. Enjoy. My guest, all the way from Virginia, by way of Lesbos in Greece, a Greek island, I know of it. Not being there, being to Crete, it is Mr. George Panthers, all the way from Virginia, but a fellow European as well on Stu's Wrestling Podcast today. How are you, sir? I am great, Stu. I'm so happy and very grateful to be on the show today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello to not only worldwide, but more importantly, like you said, to our European friends. I am honored to be on your podcast. The First Order of Business, there's a show next Saturday, February the 5th, Virginia Championship Wrestling, which you are the commissioner of. And we've got a show at the Norfolk Masonic Temple. Now, I have seen the Norfolk Scope Centre, which won't be too far away. What an iconic building. Amazing uh, visually, that that, uh, arena. Amazing, amazing. And, uh, yeah, you've got a show next Saturday. Doors at 6.30, showtime 7.30. But also, Jay Lethal is on the card. Former Ring of Honor talent, TNA talent, and current AEW wrestler. One of my favourite wrestlers, actually to be fair, and he's taking on Logan Easton LaRue at the show, but he's doing a seminar, isn't he, as well? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And we'll talk about this. Let's talk about the seminar first. What a great honor. What a great honor to to have the Jay Lethal do not one, not two, not three, but four, counted, four-hour seminar uh, for those who want to learn more about the business. We, We do require that those who sign up, and we have many that have signed up uh, that um, they have a minimum of six months experience because Jay will run a very rigorous training program. Of course, besides teaching them the psychology of the business, he will uh, also teach the fundamentals and, uh, and really run them through some uh, very, very uh, hard moves, if you will, and teach them what really the business is like. So we do require for those listening we do re- uh, watching, of course, we do require a six month minimum um, experience in the business. And please make sure that you reach out to us beforehand. We will accept if there's room left, we will accept uh, on the day of, it will start at 1.30 p.m. Saturday, February the 5th. So we, if uh, there's room, we will accept some to come in. However, uh, it is very wise to pre-register and they can pre-register by going to Pro v- uh, VCW Pro Wrestling dot com. Yeah, and that would be the best way to go and rest and and register beforehand. Not only for that, but for the show itself. If they want to do any any uh, purchase any photo ops with Jay and and tickets in advance and so on. Brilliant. Amazing. Amazing. Now. If we can go to the main event, which is featuring Jay Lethal, and he's taking on Logan Easton LaRue. Just a bit of background on that. That is the main event for the show on the 5th next Saturday. So, yeah, just uh, just some information on the main event, I think, please, George. Uh, I, I will very much, but I also there's a, there's a cute little uh, backstory that I, I do want to share real quick. And I'm sorry, I'm pulling something up. I want to make sure that... Uh, 
in all my excitement here, I, wa I want to make sure that I have the proper uh, place for fans to get the tickets. VCWProWrestling.com. Yep. I've okay. jotted that down myself, yeah. VCWProWrestling.com. Yeah, absolutely. So, so originally, Jay was supposed to work for us back in December. And we, we get a phone call, and it's like, George, I just signed with AW. I'm like, Jay, so happy for you. Fantastic. I have one question for you. Can you honor the date for us? He says, yes, I'll honor the date. So this is the December date. Then we're really happy for you. Bravo, bravo. Because obviously, let's be honest, we are an independent promotion. We could not afford to pay what AEW uh, would be paying him. And so then we get a phone call saying, I can't honor the date. Oh, no, what happened? Well, uh, with um, Kenny Omega having to pull out because of his injuries, he was scheduled to go over to Mexico. And so they asked Jay Lethal to step in and take Kenny's dates. And of course, it was very understanding. And, and because of that, we wound up get, getting the fallen angel, Chris J uh, Daniels, to uh, work for us on that December show. And Jay promised that he would come back. And then here we are now, February the 5th. And, of course, Jay will be there. But, and I wanted the fans to hear this. It, it speaks volumes as to the type of human being that he is, that he was determined to, to make it happen. He worked with us to to massage the, the, the price and everything else, and just 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 a, a great human being. I'm really looking forward for the fans to meet him and, and see him in action. And then as far as the, the background for this main event, um, our, our very own, very own, very excited with Mr. LaRue that he's getting a title shot. He's not always the, um, how should I say He'll find any way to any way to win the match, okay? But having said that, I do want people to know that Logan is a tremendous wrestler, has wrestled all up and down the East Coast and throughout the United States on the independent scene, was just on AW Dark um, just a couple of days ago, and also uh, was was on AW Dark when um, when AW was here in Norfolk, Virginia, back in November. So he's definitely someone that has won <clears throat> titles and has has traveled throughout the world with Chikara and, and other promotions and definitely is someone that I felt very comfortable would uh, challenge and bring Jay to uh, uh, both of them to their potential. And this is the one I'm going to be at ringside watching uh, myself because I'm super excited for this match. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, I've met I met Jay in 2013 at WrestleCon in New Jersey. So yeah, great guy. Absolutely so humble. It's unreal. Just down to earth. Majority of wrestlers are lovely. And he's he's definitely at the tippy top of the guys I've met. Just the humbleness of the guy, considering all his accolades and what he's done within the business. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure the fans and yourself alike will look forward to that main event. Now there's been a personal story of you from last month's show, and you were attacked last month, George. So, yeah, what's what happened? Why did it happen for the viewers and the listeners to get the yes, inside uh, scoop? Uh, and uh, for those listening, we strongly encourage that you also uh, check out Virginia Championship Wrestling on YouTube and on Facebook under that name, Virginia Championship Wrestling. And you can see not only previous matches, but also some of the history as we're talking about right now. Uh, Jerry Stephanichus and I have had a very, very, very long history. To be completely honest, and if we will pull the curtain back, we grew up, well, he's 30 years younger than me, a little bit more than 30 years, but his parents and I, uh, I'm Greek, he's Greek. I grew up with his parents. We are very, very good friends. I was the one that introduced Jerry to VCW. And, you know, power corrupts. And in his case, I'm sad to say that power has corrupted him. Uh, I don't know if he feels, I can't believe that he would feel threatened. I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm 30 years older than him, but we have had our ups and downs. And, uh, and originally, as Jerry, as a manager, he would find any way to, for his men to, to win. And of course, as the commissioner, I would not allow that to happen. And it basically got to the point, and I'm going back now a few years, uh, to where... I wound up losing my job as a commissioner. 
And the only way to get it back was to get into the ring and wrestle against Jerry. Well, let's be honest. Neither one of us are, are, are actual wrestlers. You know, him a manager, me a promoter, and also the commissioner currently for VCW. And so we did a tag team, a six-man tag team. And I'm happy to say that I, I, I won the, uh, we, my team won the match, and we, I got my job back. Because Jerry also wanted that particular job. Ever since then, that, that animosity has continued to grow. It eventually led to another match uh, between us a few years later. And then finally, this happened. With COVID, there were changes, and Jerry wound up purchasing the company, becoming the new director of operations. And the first thing he did back in July, when we, after a long hiatus because of COVID, we had our first show, he decides to give me a performance review. And that's where everything went down south. The fans, of course, love me. I, I'm the one that brings all the, all the talent. You know, I will travel, or thanks to the internet, we'll look for, for amazing young wrestlers to bring to our fans. So I was honestly, honestly, fans, I was confounded as to why he would do something like this. Well, apparently it was personal. And one of his wrestlers named the reason when I stupidly said, Jerry, give me a reason why you want to do all of this. Unbeknownst to me, reason had been at the show. I, I had not seen him. Jerry had kept him Lord knows where. And, and he has the reason jumped me. I had ribs that were, that were messed up. I, I mean, it was horrible. But thank God, uh, time passed. This was back in July of 2021. And I was able to um, do physical therapy, recuperate. And with my doctor's blessing, I was able to finally return in December. And that clip is, uh, all of this obviously, again, is on, is on YouTube. But at that point, I was just hot. I didn't care. There wasn't anything planned or scheduled. I came out to, and in my, in my aggravation, I challenged Jerry on the spot right then and there to come down from his porch up way up on top where he oversees everything to come and fight me. I mean, I was hot. I, I took my jacket off, the tie. Let me tell you, I, I, was, I didn't realize it at the time until I saw the video back, but I was definitely challenging my inner Ric Flair, who is, of course, my all-time favorite. And then... What did Jerry do? We also have a lawyer. Obviously, we are, we are a corporation. We are a business. He had his lawyer, his personal lawyer, who is also the lawyer for VCW, come and give me a restraining order. So now I have to keep six feet away from him at all times. Talk about frustration boiling. But we have a show February the 5th. And like I said at the show in December, I will never quit. I will never quit. I will find a way to somehow get my revenge against Jerry and equally important, make sure the fans get to see some incredible matches, such as the one that we just mentioned with, uh, with Mr. LaRue and, of course, with Jay Lethal. So that's, that's kind of the background story. Quite a lengthy background to the animosity, George. And uh, I think you're, you're well within your rights to be angry. At the, at the last at the last show absolutely but yeah hopefully you can get through this next next week next weekend i hope i hope for you absolutely Thanks. now if you could run through some of the other matches on the card for us just quickly just to give us a good uh i, I will the, the i card. will uh speaking uh, of another greek connection greek god papadon who is extremely uh extremely talented wrestler uh and has literally wrestled all up and down the coast, multi-time champion. He's got belts galore. He's not only our Liberty uh, U.S. champ for VCW, but he also holds belts for other promotions as well at the same time. He will be defending his Liberty title against Boar. Boar is a huge young guy that has really been making a name for himself, going through opponent after opponent. And I was very happy to sign him against Papadon. Now, Papadon and I also have a little history as well. Again, because of the Greek connection, we met through uh, the Indies, and I thought he and I were friends. But when I brought him back in 2017 to wrestle against Phil Brown, who at that time was the Liberty champion, 
I couldn't believe it that Papa Don started yelling at me that I hadn't brought him into VCW earlier than that. And so that kind of put us sideways. And um, really, I was very frustrated with all of that. Uh, I wound up uh, being at ringside and making sure that Papa Don did not cheat. And he wound up not winning, thank God. And Phil Brown wound up getting the title, uh, keeping the title, rather, for his uh, Liberty Belt. Well, I could not deny Papa Don any longer. And I did bring, because he is so talented, I did bring him back and I did give him a title match against Phil Brown a few months ago. And Papa Don wound up defeating our longtime U.S. Liberty champion, Phil Brown. I personally think Papa Don had help. There's another match, Phil Brown, it's a grudge match with Phil Brown against Devante's. And when this match started, I wasn't out there to see the beginning. I had to see the footage later. Devante's came out and jumped Phil Brown. And then Phil had to defend the, the belt against, uh, against Papa Don. So, of course, in the weakened state, of course, Papa Don is going to beat him. And yes, Papa Don, I am saying that, that, um, that Phil Brown lost because of what Devante's did. But that's okay. Phil is going to seek his revenge. I was glad to sign that match uh, for Phil. Phil is a very old uh, personal friend of mine, and I'm looking really forward to that match as well, where hopefully he will get his hands on Devontis, who's a huge guy. It's going to be both, – both of them are very, very huge and extremely talented, and this is a, this is a match that, uh, that the fans are going to get definitely their money's worth. We also have another – it's another disqualification match. But it's also, in a, in a way, a garage match. But Dirty Money versus Brandon Scott. Both former VCW uh, heavyweight champions. Brandon Scott uh, had to uh, use dirty tactics to, to uh, defeat uh, Dirty Money. Uh, did some real damage on, uh, on Dirty's leg. And Dirty's really looking forward to uh, getting back into the ring. Hopefully, he's back to 100%. I won't know until I see him Saturday night. But this one... It's a no disqualification match, and you know how they go. They're, they're going to be all over the place as much as we can control it. Um, and then uh, Gino Medina is an incredible wrestler. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of him from MLW. Sorry I jumped in there, but I am. No, I please, rate, yes. I rate I that do. man. He's got something, that guy, I tell you. Yeah, I, I do want uh, the fans uh, watching and hearing this to, to hear that from you because... Uh, it speaks volumes. Yes, here you are all over in, in, in Wales, and you, you know exactly who he is. An amazing, an amazing wrestler. Uh, we originally found him, uh, uh, I found him over with Booker T. He was uh, learning the craft of, uh, with Booker T in Texas, which is where Gino is from, and we gave him a shot at VCW, and he took it all the way to the top. He's been with us now four or five years, and uh, as we said, you know, former heavyweight uh, champion. Well, Jay Rios has wrestled in Mexico, has wrestled all over the United States, and the two have a history together. It's the first time they will wrestle in VCW, but I know they both want to show the fans, definitely Gino wants to show the fans that I still got it, just because I'm the former doesn't mean anything, and Jay wants to show our fans that he deserves to be in main event status, so this match is really going to be one uh, that's going to, I think, uh, open up the eyes for a, a lot of people. I've always, as a fan, if I can say this too, is, uh, as a fan, I loved it when wrestlers came to our area for the first time because they had something to prove. They had something to prove to the fans, to the promoters so they could bring them back, and to the other wrestlers that they could hang with them in the ring. And this is, this is how I feel about this particular match, that Jay Rios is going to, I uh, really want to impress everybody, and this is going to be 110% from both of them. And what else do we have? Oh, we have an, an amazing four-team match. Now, the team will only be in the ring, you know, one, one against the other at a time, but the Golden Pinky Society will uh, also be in the ring against Desmond King and Isaiah Fraser, New School Express, uh, Alex Devine and Marvelous Marvin Sylvester. And the purpose of this particular match is to see who will be the final winner, and the final winner will get a shot at the DCW Tag Team titles next month. And so uh, it's an exciting card. We always ha have surprises in store. Uh, we have some dark matches ourselves to give um, 
to give uh, upcoming talent an opportunity to perform in front of a crowd. And, and something that I worked out with Jay is those, uh, he's going to hopefully pick one or two uh, uh, wrestlers, well, at least two wrestlers from the seminar and see if we can give them a little tryout match, if you will, uh, on the card before Brilliant. it's a doctor. Yes. So that's another exciting feature that I want to make sure those signing up for All the opportunity. Yes, what an opportunity yes. for those young, you know, two youngsters there. Absolutely brilliant. Great idea. And I'm looking to, um, I don't, I'm not going to be able to get very close to Jerry, but I'm going to find a way to make sure he knows I am there. Jerry Stefanicius, I will be there. You will not stop me. And let's see what happens. Quite the statement of intent there, George. I like it. It's a, the Greek, you seem to have more problems with the Greeks than the Americans. You think the Greeks would get on? Yeah, yeah. You're you, being you know, harmony, we, harmonious, yes. if you will. Yes, but of course, we started wrestling. <laughs> the Olympic Games. Yeah, absolutely. Which, coming, up, coming up the same weekend. I'm super excited to, for the Winter Games, uh, and we wish all our athletes the best and uh, hope that they all are safe and looking forward to some incredible competitions. So I wanted to make sure that I say that to all the athletes out there. So please, fans, join us if you can. Uh, we, we, we normally either put, have the matches um, soon after on, for those that cannot attend on YouTube. We're also working with a couple of other uh, companies to uh, find other ways to get our, our matches out on social media. And so Virginia Championship Wrestling, both on, social, uh, both on YouTube and also on Facebook. And there you can reach out to us uh, and get tickets and everything else. Fantastic, fantastic. Yes, at the Norfolk Masonic Temple, that is the venue, vcwpro.com. Obviously, your socials as well for tickets. And showtime at 7.30, isn't it, George? Saturday, the yes, 5th sir. of February. Perfect. Yes, sir. Perfect. And we're, we're actually expecting snow today. So hopefully next Saturday we will, we will have nice weather. Because uh, it's amazing. One of my one of the fun things I like to do, Stu, is go out there and film the fans as they're in line waiting to come in. I, I would see that on TV with ECW and with you know with other promotions. And myself, when I would go to the scope, see the lines wrapped around the building, and to see that happening with us, it's just I, I have goosebumps just talking about it. So I always love going out there, filming them. Uh, as they chant VCW, VCW, and I always post it there uh, before the matches start to, uh, for, the fan, for the fans at home to see. Look at this. Why are you home? Come here now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So anybody in the Virginia area or neighboring states, tonight is the night, Saturday, February the 5th, from the Norfolk Masonic Temple. So Jay Lethal headline in the card, a stellar card, as you've just heard from George Panthers, owner, commissioner, promoter of Virginia Championship Wrestling. And Jay is also doing a four hour seminar, as you've heard, for anybody with six months minimum wrestling experience. It was $50, but I think on the day now, it will be $75 for that four hour experience, which is just huge. A big, big thank you to Chris Dutton for editing, as always. We are back. It's 2022. After a little break, nearly two months off. It's nice to be back. Thank you, Chris, for everything, as always. And for the introduction, Mike, Mad Dog Angus, as always. Again, thank you very much, sir. And to Evade Escape, as you can hear in the background there, and from the intro for Get Up and Move, their latest single. Thanks, guys, for allowing us to use the music. And we will see you later in the month for Stu's Wrestling Podcast.